hi guys and welcome back to my channel i was unavailable for a few weeks i got really busy at work and i wasn't able to watch some beginner videos however i'm back <laughs> so i'm back with um a fourth review on the course and i've taken this one on udemy it's called introduction to data science for beginners and it's also under four hours and it's created by a fad masood reader an individual and it took an hour 55 minutes to watch the video i saw the video at once do i say at once like <laughs> i watched it at a go is what i mean so yeah i watched the video at a go and I, I think it was a really nice video i liked the mode no i i actually have a preferred mode but i didn't mind this mode so in my previous video i talked about pref liking how with google after every video there's um a question uh, they're usually quizzes to just test your knowledge which is what i i'm also used to and i've taken a lot of courses on udacity and i'm kind of used to that but for this video we pretty much had to watch videos back to back and i i didn't mind it because the instructor was so good in my opinion i liked how we took the courses and for every video it would reiterate what it learned okay so i'll go through what you learn if you take this course it says what is data science who is a data scientist type of questions that a data science can answer i believe that's um an error so that should either be that a data scientist can answer or that data science can answer and supervised and unsupervised learning in machine learning with real life examples applications of data science in real life what is a data in what is data engineering who is a data engineer what is machine learning who is a machine learning engineer skills needed to become a data scientist how to practice data science and build your portfolio certifications in data science some great books in data science and it pretty much covered everything so i saw this and i thought oh this is a lot of content this is like too much but really by the time he talked about everything like it wasn't just throwing buzzwords it was explaining everything so by the time he says something it's going to break it down to a beginner level i i really thought the trainer did a good job but I, I don't know if i'm biased to his type of teaching because i felt like it was teaching like i teach little kids programming because like they always relating it to real life always relating it to whatever they do i kind of like that and really a beginner and a child are probably learning these skills the same way yeah they are younger but adults that are new to the field also need to relate it to real life to get a grasp of what is going on so i the teacher the trainer um it's from saudi arabia i believe so is most likely not a native english speaker probably a second language so you'd expect no you would expect i didn't go in there expecting tiny errors but there are some little errors that for me were negligible so like when i was reading what you learn and i saw type of questions that a data science can answer so i automatically knew that oh that was a typo so you could come across i didn't count that many times but a few times there's some tiny errors in like maybe saying scientist rather than science or stuff like that but i believe it's negligible especially for native speakers who can just pick up on oh 
that was a mistake and the other good thing is he kept on writing like so if he says like a keyword or something he's going to write it on the slide so even if you miss it like don't hear him you'll, you'll probably be able to see it as long as you are watching and listening at the same time so i think is engaging um the videos like i said don't have their quizzes but it's like a youtube video it just goes also i'll see you in the next video but like i say he reiterates his next what he said in the previous video so even if you are taking breaks if you continue you should be able to pick up easily because of that so that's that about the content and everything now this is a free course and it doesn't come with certifications this is not an organization so this is just an individual person so this is like me deciding i want to teach you what i know and i'm i most likely won't give you a certificate i don't think even if i did i don't it won't hold anything in the industry so if you are looking for certification if you are all about just putting it up on your linkedin this is not the course that would help you with that however i think the knowledge is more important so if you are all about the knowledge and not just certification and this is fine so he also talks about certifications you can get and books you can read so it's not just tutoring you on how to be a data scientist it's also advising you on how to get certifications and also talks about skills you can build i like that he mentioned soft skills i think it's very important to work on soft skills just as much as you're working on your add skills on your technical skills so that's that for this course and i hope this review was great and i see you next time thank you